Have you ever wanted to be a little architect? Well, now you're in luck. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Teeny Tiny Town. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is one of those tile matching and merging games where you have three of the same item, match them together, merge them together to produce something else and then you merge them together to produce something else and you keep carrying on until you upgrade your way all the way through and get as far as you can. With this game, the aesthetics are absolutely gorgeous. You are trying to create a town. We are matching together some shrubs in order to create trees. The trees come together to create some materials, materials for lumber, and then the lumber become houses. The houses then produce coins, and we will try and get as many coins as we can so that we can unlock things on the menu. The graphics are so simple and so gorgeous, and the soundtrack is so relaxing. It becomes more of a zen-like meditation experience than actually playing a game. So as we can see through here, Still a lot of spaces to go. I've got some bushes. I'm just gonna take a moment in the gameplay to pause to explain to you what we see on screen. So, we can move about to place where we want the next tile to be. On the top, we can see what's coming up next. So we can always have a good idea of, oh, okay, so we've got one loaded in the chamber right now, which is this one, so I'm gonna tap that. We know the next one was the shrub, so I'm gonna move that over to there to create the tree. On the bottom, we have a spare tile, so we can click it and we can put something in that we wanted to save for later. So I've saved a shrub for later. Also, we have some power-ups. We have this little circular icon, the revolving one that can swap out a tile. So if I click that now, we can swap that out over and move it to there. Or we also have the bulldoze option as well. So I'm gonna bulldoze this brick and there it's gone. And we can purchase those in the game from the in-game currency. So by getting the coins, then we'll be able to buy more. So I'm just gonna put this over there so we've got a little bit more lumber. Now this is a free to play game. The only sort of paywall that there is, is as you can see at the top, it says how many turns we have left. We have 200 turns at a time. And when we reach zero, then we have to wait for them to recharge takes three hours to recharge, or we watch an advert. And once we do that, we get to recharge. Ooh, I'd like to try and get, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that, am I? I have to put you there. Never mind. But as I say, this is a free to play game, but there are premium options as well. So I'm just gonna click out of this and show you what the options are. The upgrades at the top here, so for 99p, you can unlock all of the levels. Another 99p, unlimited turn, so not capped at that 200. An extra inventory slot, so where I held onto that little shrub, we have another one as well, all for three pounds, or depending on where you are in the world, you can just buy the entire game so you don't have any cap on the movement, you don't have any issue with choosing what level you wanna play next, and you get an extra inventory slot as well. So that is your option right there. And for three pound, it's pretty cheap for this game because I've already spent a lot of time on it and time is just gone. I've just been completely absorbed by it these are the different themes that we can get. So this currency in the top right, that's what we get to earn playing through the game. So then we'll be able to unlock either a winter theme or a candy theme. I'm nowhere near at the moment. So I'm just still playing through on my forest theme. I have already completed this. So what I wanna do is, I wanna show you this four by four expanding lands, which I wasn't very good at. And I really wanna hope see if I can do any better. So you can select the boost items, start with two additional bulldozers to get rid of those tiles as you saw, get some additional gold, or start with an additional swap. But instead, I'm just gonna jump straight in. Okay, so let's try and play this tactically. Now, I want, I'm gonna put this tree over here because I wanna get that tree there, but that means I can't get that shrub. So I'm gonna put this here, there we go. Beautiful, thank you very much. And we got an achievement for that. So I'm gonna put the trees in the corner and try and surround this shrub. So we get a tree over there as well. Okay. So we've got one, two, three. And then, ooh, that's a very good one because, yeah, let's place you there. And another three at the top. So I'm gonna put the tree here. I wanna try and get another tree at the top, but also combine that. All of these are gonna combine, hopefully into a house. Beautiful, we've built a small house. And because we built that house, we're now expanding. So this particular level, it will expand as we progress. We have a goal of 2,000 points. If we reach that, then we'll get some extra 
bonus currency in the game. So that's what I'm going to try and aim for right now. Okay, so the stones don't appear a lot. So we've got to make sure to place them strategically when we can. Now, every five turns, the house produces a coin. So we want to try and get as many houses as we can so that we can up our currency intake. Can we put them together? Okay, so we've got some lumber right there. And I think if I pop you here, oh, this is going to be a tricky one because I want to make sure that, oh, I actually, I did that wrong. I should have placed it. Yeah, okay, that's up. Four together there, and then we can put that. So we've got a massive rock there. And I'm going to leave that space so that we can get a tree. Okay, so we've got another tree there. So if I place you here, put the tree next to that tree, put this tree here, we should get some materials. And we've reached the goal. We gained 10 of the blue chips. And we can choose an additional reward. Let's go for the bulldozer. Just in case we need to clear out some space. Now, where do we want these three? We want three trees together. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. So I'm going to place you here, hopefully to get that there. And then I'm going to hold off until I get another tree pop up. So I'm going to put this extra shrub into storage, place this shrub here, but then put this tree. There we go. Okay, now hopefully, the hope is... Ooh, it is a big hope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the swapping tool to bring down... The materials to get some lumber there. Use this to create a tree. And then you see that little, that rock there. I might destroy the rock. Yep, destroyed. That's fine. Place you there to get another tree. And then one. Put you up there. Two. Place you up there. And then three. Beautiful. Now, as I say, I this is just... A really peaceful, relaxing game. I've played other tile matching games before and it's always been, you know, there's a time limit, there's a, ah, you've got to get through as quickly as you can. It's all flashing lights and it's very high energy. But with this, it's so chill. It's so zen. And it is just a really relaxing experience. And considering how much you get for just a free game, like as I say now, we've been playing it for a little bit, still got 76 turns to go before I'm given the choice to watch an advert or to wait for it to refill. But if you wanted to have the full game for just three pounds, it's a really cheap game that will give you a lot to think about because even right now I'm considering, oh, see, I'm not, I'm not doing very well. All I want is another, yeah, I think this might be the end of this level for us. Yep, we filled out, and I got a better high score there. But what I like is, is that it doesn't necessarily mean you failed. It's just there's your town. That's it. You've built it. That's what it looks like. And as you go through, there will be bigger things to create. You'll actually start to create buildings and other such things as that. But I'm not that skilled as of yet. I think I need to play further. But yes, my friends, this has been teeny tiny town let us know in the comments what do you think will you be having a go on this game do you like the aesthetic are you into this sort of minimalist zen type of feel let us know in the comments below but for now my friends luck and more to you all and catch you next time